I first came across his photography through the photographs of Eleanor. Harry Callahan was born in 1912 and took to photography in his 20s, more or less the same time as he married Eleanor, beginning an artistic collaboration that was to ensure she was to become the most recognisable model and muse in the history of 20th century photographs. He arrived at photography with no formal training, but with a passion and perseverance of the amateur hobbyist who is free to experiment and expand without all the constrictions of being a photographer. He often professed to being a naive and unschooled artist and wrote that I found photography as a hobby and then finally realised that it was something I really believed in. Back then, he was working full-time as a clerk at Chrysler's Parts Department in Detroit, attending the company's photographic club, local photographic societies, and coming into contact with Ansel Adams, whose discipline, objectivity, formalism, and tonal pedagogy was a touchstone that put him on the path to explore his expressive potential. Photography is an adventure, he said. I'm interested in relating the problems that affect me to some set of values that I'm trying to discover and establish as being my life. I want to discover and establish them through photography. He became fascinated with the camera's extended vision and experimented widely with camera movement, double exposure, the use of series and forms that never existed in any single instant. In 1946, Callahan began a long association with teaching at the Chicago Institute of Design, set up by Laszlo Maholi Nagy, and in the 60s he took his teaching to the Rhode Island School of Design in Providence, where he set up the photographic department there. He constantly challenged himself to see and learn from that which is often the most difficult to truly see and appreciate, the familiar, the ever-present, and the previously explored. But throughout all his exploration, I come back to Eleanor. I can't imagine Callahan without Eleanor. She distills his vision and reveals his relationship to the life within and about me. The extensive series of photographs of Eleanor and their daughter Barbara remind me of Roy Anderson's films or the photographs of Shoji Ueda. Each image is its own story, enigmatic and beautifully resonant of limitless possibilities. Eleanor's beguiling and composed presence anchor the ordinary of urban and natural landscape into this quixotic stage. Part dream, Callahan's portraits of his wife and daughter encapsulate the magic of living and the grace of photography within his own unique voice of precision and economy of form. They are portraits that are so intimate, tender, and radiate a synergy of trust and interdependence between photographer and subject that no one has bettered either before or since. He just liked to take the pictures of me, recalls Eleanor in 2007, and he knew that I never, never said no. I was always there for him because I knew that Harry would only do the right thing. They remain one of photography's great partnerships.